Hi guys, this is Jar Arts Fight, and welcome to another tutorial. Now, um, I was going to say I'm sorry if my voice is a bit kind of croaky. Um, I just woke up like half an hour ago, so I apologise for that. But let's just get on with this tutorial. We're going to be doing some Twixter um, settings and kind of going into Twixter a bit in depth in this tutorial. Now, this was requested on my Facebook page. Um, uh, this guy here, the Ginger Hills, asked um, if he can make a tutorial on the best Twixter settings. So if you want to request a tutorial, my Facebook page is a great place to do it. So go ahead and like the page, there'll be a link in the description for this. Um, so just go ahead and get started, we're going to open up After Effects here. Now I've got a clip, I'm just going to drag it into a composition here. And I want to find when he scopes out, say so somewhere like uh, there roughly. Yeah, here. Okay, so why is this still up? Still open. Go away. Um, uh, we're gonna hold Shift Command or D or Shift Control and D, and it will split the clip. Now um, I use Twix the Pro, so um, I don't know. You can't really do the, the exact settings I do in Twixter um, on the normal Twixter, but Twix the Pro is really good. So if you don't have Twix the Pro yet, I suggest you get it. Um, now the first thing you do is obviously frame rate. Now the frame rate has to match the frame rate of the clip. So this clip's fifty nine point nine four type that in. Um, where it says image prep here under track control, change that to contrast slash edge enhance. Right, then we're going to hit the stopwatch next to speed here, when if timing map mode's on speed, I leave the speed at 100. Where it says warping, change the inverse to inverse with smart blend. Now there are the settings you can do in the non, in like the normal Twixter. Now the Twixter Pro stuff, there's only one thing you change. Where it says main BG layer settings, you just click the arrow and change the main BG sensitivity to 100. There we go. So now what we want to do is um, go forward a frame. So I'm going to go hold Command or Control and press the right arrow so it goes forward a frame. Then I'm going to change the speed to, I use generally between 2 and 4 when I want to do super slow motion. Um, and I'm again, I'm sorry if you can hear the seagulls in the background. Um, so now, play through it, you'll see that if I just go to here, I'll play, turn the sound off. Um, play this, it's the first clip, second clip, then it goes to slow motion here. Now, as you can see, it's not doing it super well because there's movement in the clip. Now, to get the best tweaks to settings, you want there to be not a whole load of movement. So what we can do is, I can show you quickly. Uh, let's find another frame where he actually zooms in. Now the best place to apply Twix is when the thing you want to Twix is furthest away from the actual screen. So Twix is something like this here. So if we do again, hold Shift Command D to duplicate the layer here. And we bring on Twix the Pro again. Uh, obviously the same settings, 59.94. Image prep. Contrast Edge Enhance, Keyframe the Speed, Inverse with Smart Blend, and 100 Sensitivity. Go forward a frame and change it to 2. Now here, because what we're to string, the only real movement in this scene at the moment is the gun moving forward, because he's not moving forward a load. The only thing that's really going to move is the gun. So you can see the gun is now like zooming in in really slow motion. Now it's best to do this, Twixter, when the um, gun is the furthest away from the screen like so it's no good having it here in this area like twixtering um, if this bit hadn't been twixted and you were at this rough frame if you twixted this bit because when the gun is further away it has a lot more frames it's moving a lot more frames than um but as the gun gets closer it does it moves a lot less frames so it jumps a lot more and what twixter does it actually adds in frames it like basically adds more frames into the um into the actual clip so by having the frames jumpy so like going on from here to here really quickly um the, the closer the gun gets the less frames it moves so obviously the more frames the better because it, the smoother the slow motion so if we just play this through quickly around preview but you can see how smooth the slow motion is here now the um xp bar does go a bit funny sometimes Obviously, if you're using a hardcore clip, it will look awesome. Um, and then it goes straight to this clip. 
So slow motion here, waka, and then like the drop, boom, with the quad feed from Phase Force. Um, See, so yeah, that's a pretty, that's kind of my general settings for Twixter. You can then add gun and add like some real smart motion blur, some other effects. But I'm going to end this tutorial up here, guys. I know it's been a short one today, it's been like six minutes. Um, but I, someone asked for this tutorial, so I thought I'd give it to them. Now, these are the exact settings I use every time I edit. Um, uh, like using Twixter, so if you want to um, go and request this tutorial like this like this one was requested then just go ahead and like my Facebook page and just post on the wall saying what video you want because I'm sure I will be able to do it because I'm running out of tutorial ideas well I've got loads of ideas but I don't know whether you guys would like to see them so it's kind of a bit tough so seeing requested tutorials is a lot easier than actual um, coming up with ideas for tutorials because they never seem to kind of go as well and my tutorials haven't been like doing super well recently I don't know if that's just I've been uploading them at a bad time or the fact that it's now the summer holidays um, but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to leave a like let's try and get maybe 15 likes maybe and check out the time 11 11 11 Ooh. Um, <laughs> yeah 15 likes guys leave a comment um, make a tutorial suggestion and I shall see you guys in the next video